Not only is it Duelist Alliance, which of course is a super game determinative set, but it's also the tied up set. So Gage and Alex are both at like 40 something wins. The winner of this will be in the lead. And Gage has had a couple of attempts to crack into the lead recently. Maybe like 10 of them. But I'm super excited to see if he's finally going to be able to uh, exceed him. Okay. I think I have to go for broke. We're going all in. It's an expensive score. He went broke. Oh. Falchion, thank you for the 19. Fireblade win, thank you for the 21. Oh. Rex Babel, oh thank you for the gifty. I wish I was dead. Leviathan's Ringmaster, thank you for the sub. ADR MVP, thank you for the 35. Natrous Oxide, thank you for the 8. Eldritch Cowboy, thank you for the 100 bits. Burger Yu Gi Oh, thank you for the 9. Omni, thank you for the 25. Smorgy 2, thank you for the 17. Gong Stonk, thank you for the 27. East Nick, thank you for the 28. Large Adult Sun, thank you for the 12. RC Dan, thank you for the 11. Blackfire, thank you for the 25. Aeon 0000. Thank you for the 16. About 99 donuts. Thank you for the nine. Trueborn 44. Thank you for the 19. Void Frog. Thank you for the. However, uh, 11 months. James Rob 96. Thank you for the prime. The Deity of Ice. Thank you for the 18. Uh, Aura Ravenwing. Thank you for the uh, three. Enraged Peacock. Thank you for the 14. Send Ab Zero for cost. Thank you for the 15. Uh, Benige. Thank you for the 12. Uh, Benige 101. Thank you for the seven. Marsh Milona Yu-Gi-Oh. Thank you for the 14. Jerry Beans Man. Thank you for the follow. God damn it. Uh, Jersey Luck. Thank you for the four. Yondora. Thank you for the 24. Raz it up. Thank you for the prime. Uh, Yubin. Thank you for the 12. Uh, Me Clay, thank you for the nine. Uh, T Pain, one hundred. Thank you for the ten, and we are caught the fuck up. If you want bike, Vortex, thank you for the dollar. Oh, what's this? That's right, we still back, baby. New style, new me, but get the same good old code Simo five. If you want to save five percent on any singles or sealed products, Koopa Queen Bowser, thank you for the hundred bits as well. Folks, don't do this shit. Instead, type exclamation mark affiliates in the chat and use my link at mbtugio.bio. Percent off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code CMO5. And notably, this gets you 5% off of those sites. You don't get 5% off TCG Player. I just get money when you do that. But if you buy through TCG Player today, you're getting kickback for Cyber Monday. And clicking I did TCG all of my purchases for the year this shop, weekend. Dane Reich, thank you for the you 28. Access code content. Talker, thank you for the 27. Oh, he's here. Real. Piara the Road Tripper, thank you for the 8. I dislike children, thank you for the 15. Gotta agree. Oh, wait. Did Alex earn a judgment here? Or are we doing the, um... Are we doing the... The judgment where we ban, like, 15 cards before the next set? Because if that's the case, I'm very excited. Well, game. We haven't been here in Oh it is! Yes! Alright. In a while, but welcome everyone. Vanities! 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 Pendulum summoning mechanic is here. Definitely Royal Oppression is no longer allowed. Death Man, thank you for the hundred. Will you be a Bologna? No, I won't. It's during my final season, regrettably. Don't you think, Gage? Oh, absolutely. With the I'm turning the volume up for you. I feel like we should kind of revamp the progression series ban list into a fresh new format. Uh, I'm and really if you just joined for progression, quick reminder, we're doing an NA giveaway for as well as a, uh, a leaving max our and dice from Grimoire accessories. From our card Love these guys. Absolutely. So They're having a Cyber Monday sale, 24% off everything, everything and an additional 5% with my code at mbtugio.bio. So, future Fusion, Card of Safe Return, Vanity's Emptiness, and Royal Oppression yes. are all now on the Hall of Fuck every single one of these cards. They're all bad, folks. These are some of the most unfun auto-win cards cards in our format not to say that we still don't have a few but <laughs> we've got uh, more than a few of the worst offenders wouldn't you agree fucking ass card yeah i've activated future fusion to dump five a few times i feel like it's been <laughs> oh he good. said i'm gonna dump a number of times emptiness to win a few times you know it's pretty good a few <laughs> a couple you know what i was just gonna think like if you royal oppression my pendulum summon in this era i would be pretty yeah i would it. jump <laughs> off a bridge <laughs> personally it's pretty good that we're gonna remove those cards from the era as we move into this new faster paced Yu -Gi -Oh that would be playing. are we doing more we'll be saying hello Hello to a whole bunch of old friends again, though. Maybe they'll pop up in some deck lists. So for the unbans that we'll Wait, that's all the bans? You don't want to get rid of Soul Charge? <laughs> what? You don't want to get rid of Shockmaster? All right. We'll be removing from our mutual ban list. We'll be bringing back Flam Bell Fire Dog. That's Bora fine. Bora the Spear. Gravekeeper Descendant. What? Yeah, these are completely okay. Uh, elemental Hero Neos Alias. Wait, what the fuck? When did Neos Alias get banned? <laughs> I don't even that remember. Bestiary, Blackwing Shur. Whoa, Bestiary. I don't know. And also the mighty Mirror Force will be joining our card pool. 
I don't really like Mirror Force, but sure. Again. Dude, that's, that's a lot of Black Wings. I, I never thought I'd be saying <laughs> If he just those plays Black Wing, I'm going to be so mad. Definitely slimming down the list of But all those cards, cards are ass. Here, but, uh, They're so bad. A lot so of these bad. cards, I think you and I collectively agreed, are either past their prime or just give us the opportunity to play a wider variety of different decks. Whether those decks are good or not is obviously <laughs> up for debate. But mm. Mirror Force is also one of those cards, I think on the July 2014 ban list, which we're currently abiding by, actually just went to three as a matter of fact. So you know what? It can't be that bad, right? Yeah, definitely can't, right? Like I said, I'm scared that those black wings are back. I can only imagine the brews you're cooking up over there <laughs> with those black wings. But uh, like you said, they're past their prime. I think we can say hello to them again. Maybe we'll come up with something, right? Of course, we're also going to get three additional redoer tickets at the start of a new... Oh, era. wait! Shouts out to at KateKeo504 for counting up Simo's actual... They all lost track. He has five... He spent like four in the last four episodes. He still had Bro, five. Which puts me up to one billion and three redoer <laughs> tickets. Fantastic. Okay. And uh, with that gauge, I think we've got an episode to film. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh, okay, here's the banning. This is an Alex only. Well, ladies and gentlemen, well, ladies we and gentlemen, have a big episode for you today. And it gets bigger with the fact that I'm in the banning. And I'm not exactly happy to be in the well, it and Firewall have that in common because he is back Banning and bigger than ever. He, Alliance, he's just but bigger. There is several cards that I could choose from, and I think I'm going to try to specifically pick at one of Gage's best decks, and that's why I'm going to ban Tempest, Dragon Ruler of Storms. Now, you might be wondering why I picked Tempest over one of the other Dragon Rulers. Well, Tempest, although it is the weakest one, it technically <clears> hits three cards. It okay. also hits Lightning, Dragon Ruler of Drafts, and that's fine. whatever we, the card is. We're, we're done with Rulers. We're going to play something more fun. Play that anymore because Tempest is gone. And also, Debris Dragon loses its target. Gage wasn't playing rulers when he had rulers. You know, now we have other stuff to play. Which is lightning, which means like his Black Rose play or anything like that becomes significantly weaker by comparison. So effectively, we get to ban three cards for one. I don't want to ban title because I also have a title. And Blaster is also three pretty titles. Decent, Oh, no, you know it's what? limited now. If we now. lose this episode, we can just ban that at the end of this one. So in any case, let's go ahead and throw it over to Gage so he can spin the wheel for winning last episode. With the release of Duels to Lions, we have found ourselves in the wow, next that's all era the banned of cards. Things are gonna start well, every one of those cards quick. should... Oh, okay, no, there's another page. But every one of these cards should be banned. Now, ...and the game just becomes completely different than what we've seen before. That's part and due to the release of Pendulums. I think that might be a little bit of a difficult strategy to adapt over to Progression Series because a lot mm. of the cards are hyper-specific to make pendulum strategies really work and they're also locked behind high rarity but in general you start to see a lot faster cards a lot more efficient cards released in the games cards that just do more i think it's really exciting this is the era of Yu-Gi-Oh that i think i've played the most in uh of all time so yeah. i'm really excited to revisit it again and duels the lines for me it's uh for me it's the next one like the uh, arc the era extremely powerful archetypes into the game uh, wait is this really the arc the era i want you to just take a moment and look back the at the era? what we decided to unban and i always ban. get arc v and zexal those confused cards, about arc v come, came out i played the most in arc v no this is we're going to release them just to have a little bit of fun. Zexel you know? is... No, the it's Zexel. Zexel is when they release Pendulums. Five as well. The scores even. How about we even the playing field? Let's see what kind of wacky... No, Zexel is Xyz. Wait. Back. But first, I have the wheel in front of me. What the and fuck? it's just as big as it always was. So let's see what I can spin. Uh, I'm going to give it one click. One singular you click. You played Brains? No, I no, no. I, play, I played Arc V. I don't know. Always yeah, looking Zexel for like, is the, the high-end, right. like the promos and stuff. But hey, a band ticket right off the bat... You know what? We just we'll have take a judgment. It. We we'll just take purged it. a whole bunch of things. I'll decide what to whatever, add to Whatever he gets in this uh, set, to we're going to ban. For that, though. Uh, in the meantime, we have a very exciting set. Like I said, Duelist Alliance. Alex loves this set. I'm going to let him tell you all about it. Talk about Whoa, 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 whoa. Jump scare. What was that? Alliance. Alex loves this set. I'm going to let him tell you all about it. Gage, gage, gage. Talk about a reversal as we get into one of the best sets of all time, <laughs> Duelist Alliance. I was on a three win streak, Gage was in the banning, and then all of a sudden we are tied by Gage going on a win streak and sending me into the banning. But that's going to just climax into one of the best sets of all time. That's going to climax. Alliance. Now really I'm interested. This time. It's really difficult to it is crazy how, how, how big of a set this set was. was. 
when was the last time in any time you've played Yu-Gi-Oh that you can think of one core set that introduced like three? Not only did it set the pace of play that Yu-Gi-Oh is like known for today, the cards from this set are still good. Like nine years later. The four tier one archetypes in addition to- It would like have to be Pote. Yeah, Pote's two, the like, only other one I can think of that has anything resembling this. Maybe the Shining Darkness. To that, I genuinely believe that the only yeah. set that maybe comes close to this in modern memory is a set like power of the elements but we'll yeah. get to that when we get there in any case let's teller talk is still Alliance. playable well Released if you're on vlad August 14th, 2014, this set introduced get fucked all of vlad the i know you're editing this also a new summoning mechanic editing. in pendulums and we may not see pendulums immediately right off the bat but don't worry we've got some plans starting off at the super rare rarity a lot of the yang zing cards hovered in this tier but also some uh, of the cards from sucks the that they're all supers they're really archetypes. good so do you remember when yang zings were so expensive I only play Constellar, core, not well Teller Knight. Wait, you don't play? Any, don't you play Constellar, Teller Knight? All cards are instrumental in all, and maybe except for all Sam, in the, all of the decks we're going to be seeing moving forward. Also, Castell, the Sky Blaster Musketeer, big. one of the best yes, generic and? rank fours for this time. Uh, I don't play Altair. I don't care. Constellar Teller Knight is either a race trader or you, you, you gotta you, you gotta stop playing the, the rares. Even a lot of the rares were in demand for this set because the single again, race decks. It's a little weird, Vlad. Here. I'm not gonna so lie. Altair is a rare for Teller Knight. Shadal's Falco Dragon and Beast. Ethno State Ass Duelist. The three big Mallow branches of the Dogu. Scarm Graph and Seer were at the rare, and even cards like UA Slugger and. Perfect God, case. the Although UAs go so crazy. Like the best deck you could be playing out of Duelist Alliance. UAs, especially for those who watch Season 1 in Prague, these cards are not to be understood. Devastatingly powerful. Even Panzer Dragon was a generically good instant. Panzer Dragon. A lot of people were really happy. Great IF you. target. The secret rares were phenomenal. Bakshia, Brightness of the Yang Zing. Oh, he said it right. Like Bakshia? Fuck. I, I was saying Baxia. Relatively recently in I saw that Twitter thread that was like, here's how you actually say these. And if you don't say them this way, you're racist. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> it's like, there's no way I can guarantee I say these right. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. But there's no way I can guarantee I say these right. Modern Yu-Gi-Oh! with decks like Sword Soul, Delteros was a fantastic card for Satellar Knight, and it's generic, so you don't even have to play this in Satellar Knight. Cards like Time Space Trap Hole, Magical Spring have seen their Magical time Spring in the spotlight. Cool Rise of the Mega Monarchs, he's playing decks like Flu, and then Dante as well, the boss monster <sighs> of the Burning Abyss. I mean, like, Dant. this, this set's just insane. The ultimate rares, you know, we're spoiling a little bit, but let's get down to the ultras. We have Deneb, we have Chi Wen, we and have Wyndham, you know we, we have, have Contra, Doom we have Star Sephira, Magician, Alpha, Sinister Shadow Games, Creation. I think it's insane to me that the worst ultra rare in this set is Doom Star Magician, but nine out of the ten ultra rares in here are actually are bangers. just cracked They're and were bangers. playable at one point. And then even when you get down to the common cards, there's stuff for oh people God, who play white, more casual level, princes, right? Like this is a short print, but like spicy white spy for was who short print. Skull servants was a fantastic. Boost Wait, that explains why I couldn't find it when I kept going here, back into the set. We have some of the original super heavy uh, chaos draft. stuff. We've got the melodious support. We've got stuff like hip hippo, mm. which saw play because super heavy samurai suck during this period. Some they don't the have enough, but the nine volt really does a lot for battery men. That would be a cool pickup in here. Battery man nine volt for the battery men. Resonance insect for eventually what later on. Resonance Insect Recover and Despot 001. I love Despot 001 and Resonance Insect just the fucking blowjob brothers of stupid synchro combo. Monarch strategies. I mean, I could go on and on, but just and is that Burner Visor progression playoff staple of a set like this? Those green sets are never to be underestimated. Green, green, green. New era of Yu-Gi-Oh. And every time I look at this set, I just seem to be more and more impressed. with Stormforth and Common is crazy. Also, yeah. Speaking of sets, really improves a lot of decks that were playable previously. Three of them for losing last episode so before we get into the fun opening we got an ad for a gaming one. shaving razor why does this exist you don't want to do holy I said fuck this that's was not gonna bad be a boring opening that's but pretty nice that is actually you want to do rgb shaving of charge of the light brigade that's now beautiful. i understand that we're like well past the point of like playing you know some of the light swarm no we are not felis is still a lot insane of power in the fact that light swarm light swarm shadow was and we can play tier. small light swarm packages in a lot yeah, of decks yeah we, we consider that's this insane, for sure actually i'm yeah. super happy to pull that let's see what we get in the next pack overworked, overworked. already set on that and another card trooper which i believe we they made dual logs into a card charge of the light brigade card is a great card sick, as well. especially moving into this episode let's add it to the Hanawada, collection and crack good for when he plays trick star Okay. Alliance. 
A lot of the Shadal cards are low right, rarity. Let's make it happen. Pretty good. Uh, I think I ended up taking. A so yeah, for sealed purposes, the Shadals are really so low rarity. Nice to have, right? Battery Man nine volts action. Nine volts great. Nine volts a crazy pickup. As is the UA favorite. field spell. Uh, the Battery Man. Feast deck. of the Wild is a card we, we could consider as well. Brew up with this. Uh, this card because we have a good five pool. Lancia is a hand trap that comes in and out of favor. It was released as a common in the set here too. Pretty good, right? This is right off the back of uh, Primal Origin, which gave us the initial release know. of artifacts like Morale Pack and stuff like that. So having this card, it was a little bit weird. You're like, where does this find a place in that archetype, right? Well, it didn't really. It found a place in side decks later on. Okay. Graph, the Malum Branch Graph's of the Burning good. Abyss. Graph's I love the Burning Abyss Great archetype. Card. I think right out the gate, it was just that really is a good pickup too. about what it would do, right? It could make Dante, and moving. then it could mill and summon some more level threes, but... I've never actually even it. seen it Fishborg was that good enough to compete? I'm the Fishborg know. fucker. Scarm, by the way. Speaking of Scarm, which, the, second uh, the, stadium, the Cloud Castle, there, Nine Volt, another good stuff. Pick up. I'd love to pick up a lot of these guys earlier here, but since we're mean, in huh? season two, we to these side sets. You know this. actually going to reprint in premium you know mode, my lore. so they should be a lot more accessible. Also, they're uh, kind of spread out throughout Astral Packs as well. Panzer Dragons, a great it's instant fusion target, actually. When it's destroyed, Yang Zing Prana would be like a really fun win condition. Battle Guard King. That's not so bad. Do we have the Battle Guard? Is that Despot 01? Again, Season one icon right there, Dogu. I hate. Has anybody ever gone to the Yu-Gi-Oh wiki? Yeah, so every Yu-Gi-Oh Yu -Oh wiki Yu -Oh says wiki searchable by every Dogu. Every card trivia it says this card can be searched by Dogu. Because every everything card can be searched, be searched by, searched by Dogu. Dogu. Shadal yeah. Falco's nice rare to have. Falco's Squamata. a good one. Squamata is a good one. These low rarity Shadal. White here. Prince. I would like to see Beast. Sick, That's probably sick, one of the better ones. Short print pickup. It really doesn't come together until. So we far, get, this like, opening Shadal has been kind of mid though. Like that, which I like to remain optimistic, but I don't think we'll get something like that. All right, twenty-four packs of Duelist Alliance, and man, there is a lot that we are looking <laughs> for in here. Uh, what's interesting is that depending on how our polls go, because obviously for Shadal, Satellar Knight, as well as Burning Abyss. If we get certain pulls, it might pull us, you know, no pun intended, in certain directions with our deck building, and it's going to influence yeah. whether or not we want to respin. This is yeah. definitely a set we want to use a redoer ticket on, depending on yeah, the way things go. Yeah, if we have to. Go. So let's flip up the first Fuck pack. Off. El Shadal Construct oh! in pack number one. Are you fucking kidding me? This shit is going to oh win God. him an episode and, and immediately get banned. Thank God for the, the banned ticket. This is the Shadow pack. What is this? Fusion. If we don't pull Shadow El Shadow fusion, Construct, construct is actually Shadow Dragon, us, Shadow Squamata. Unbelievable. Shit. Dude, what a way to fucking start believable. Opening. Other cards I'm going to be Imagine looking for being in the Alex. Are nine volt. <laughs> Another Squamata, Nine Volt. Pretty solid. And nine volt and we could play like Battery Man Shadow also. It's like chaos. Really make the deck shine. And so I'd be happy to see that. I'm also looking for the commons and the DLS really good in that deck, by the way. Well. But now that we pulled Construct, the I really want to go all in on Shadal. So I'm really hoping we get Shadal Fusion. Ten more years Window chaos. might be Let's a little go. bit greedy to ask for, but honestly, like, we already have Construct, and Construct is just nuts. I think that's three Squamata immediately right off the okay, bat. Granted, it's a good. common, but sometimes um, we don't get common, so I'm happy to see that that's basically Skarm, one of the best ones because it searches everything else, or rather sends everything else to Grave. Skarm is also a nice hit as well. I won't be upset to see some UA cards. Uh, the UAs put in work for us in season a one. Knuckle and, uh, big a Knuckle Eye too. Perfect Ace in UA is good. Hip Hippo, you just need one of, but Hip Hippo back. and Hip Sinister Hippo Carnival. Sinister Shadow Games oh, and another Shadal Dragon. Holy okay, fuck. so again, okay, we're playing Shadow. I need Shadal Fusion. I'm happy to see you don't Sinister even need Shadow, Shadow Fusion. Games, and we you are get on L. course to have one of the craziest Shadal you can play openings poly. in this series history. But we're also missing other key cards in the rare slot, like Shadal Falco and Shadal Beast. But we can sort of supplement our Shadal all package with other cards if we are sort of lacking in that department. Ella's next set. Oh, yeah, we'll do Yang's next set. Creation is creation, another ultra. I can't complain card. that I've gotten three ultras in eight packs, but I'm but it really play hoping well we with can friends. get to play Shadal today. That would just be nuts. Oh, oh my god. Castell's amazing. Castell's big. A fantastic rank four to add to our That's pool. a storm this force too. Really good. Being that Second immediate Skarm. counter to actually Silent Honor Arc. Silent Honor Arc can only target things in face-up attack position, which made it... It's still a great card, right? You slurp it up and then it protects itself by battle, but... It I'm it slurping Baby, difficult. I'm slurping. Things in defense position. Uh, Castell's the answer to that, right? I can answer my opponent's silent honor arc by simply shuffling it back to the deck. Doesn't matter the position it's in. That's a great card. And look, Skarm right next to it, too. That's an awesome pack. Mighty Slugger. I wish these UA cards were better. I get. Mighty Season Slugger's one fine. Force Kawhi Healer, think of the 26. The Pooper, think of the 13. The Whitener, think of the 27. Skarm. OJ's other glove, think of the 7. Dante, it's early, too. Think of the 9. get lucky enough to pull those? Who knows? <laughs> Speaking of which, there, wow, there's Burning another Seer. It's early like, too. Think of the nine. Uh, spike of the many Seers. Think of the 26. Again. Mugo's wow, Cow 21. Think of the five. Wow, we actually have a yeah, BA okay. engine. Deathman IT. Think of the hundred. Dane Reich. Think of the 28. Nine packs to go though. We still got a chance. 
Oh, a super rare. That's Alsham. Alsham's like not the greatest at Yeah, Alsham's bad. Time Breaker's rules bad. Didn't exist back then. I hate so this fucking your Breaker. For a thousand was a lot There's a lot of sets where he's but like the a, one a, bad card you can pull. I, right? I think that's only Manifesting like Dante. Dante versus like Construct. I'd come. Try on that luck. Dogu. Dogu again. Well, there's Graph. I mean, if anything, we have okay. one of each of the BAs. And I mean, that's sick, but I don't know how playable that's going to be. That is our third Shadal Dragon. I'm, Hedgehog I don't think two. I need three Shadal Dragons. No, you don't. You really totally only need one. You, but, I mean, the Shadal we'll core is coming along very nicely. Shadal Fusion! Oh, my God! Oh my fucking and beast! That's everything. Beast That's first. everything. We have one of the Holy craziest shit. packages. It's insane too because we can search wow. it on fusion with Hedgehog. So uh, even if over. we just have the really one over. copy, we can. Play we do still want Falco, but I'm wow! Sure we've pulled that in previous sets as well. This we shit legitimately gas. As long as we have Pull one window. copy of Shadow Fusion, but what a way to start off Duelist Alliance! We're not even. Yeah, halfway we're playing. Through. We're playing this shit for we sure. We can still get another Shadow Fusion. We could get. Window. What if we pull Felis? Shadow Fusion is in the next set so i'm happy that we already have this foundation there's no chance we can respin this this is nuts an ultimate rare Sapphira. i gotta okay, be honest well. if we were gonna pull an ultimate rare it could have been a second construct which would have been fucking crazy but i would have been you know really what? crazy for the band ticket because this opening has already been well above average but man the hits keep coming what else can we get in another 11 packs well apparently we can get deneb i what is this opening? Alex, sell this What's box. This is Neb is that I would prefer You found one of the uh of the boxes yes, they give out to employees. All of the other cards What's going on here? All tires are rare and I don't think we've actually pulled a single we one pulled, yet. God. We haven't pulled them. What is this opening? Another should all beast. That's crazy. oh my god, that is one of the all best we need is we can ask for. I the one I thing we I have really, really want at this point. Other it's shots already being of Falco. greedy of me to ask this. I already want more Shadal fusions and more Shadal fusion monsters altogether. But I want at least one copy of Shadal Falco. If yeah. I get one Falco, I think we can make it work. Shadal core. What are you talking Shadol about, core? dog? We're you can make it work already. All the Shadal cards. What the fuck, fuck is off. going on? Holy shit! Wow. Wow, that's Shadal Fusion. That is so good. He's over okay, here like, wow. Any, uh, the fusions we don't have to any go fusions. with it yet, but that's our fourth graph, Malamarix, the Burning Mist. This is the card that puts it all together, right? We have Hedgehog, which searches it out. We do need a fusion, though, and it's, it's possible we don't get one in this set, but this might be a keep, so if we can keep the momentum and win the next episode, we might be able to redeem a Shadal Construct if we can, you know, spin it on the wheel. There's Beast. This looks awesome. This is great. Wow. All right, three packs left. Can I be the luckiest boy on earth and get a fusion? Any Please Shadal fusion would actually give him your luck, chat. Or a Dante. Prage, Prage for him. He got the so Falco. Wow, this is a crazy uh, pack. Holy Zings shit. were never great. Um, the problem is they all miss timing, which is that is really not the problem with them nowadays. But back then it was crushing for the stack. Look at all the Shadals too. They're just oh, asking. Pack, They're big... asking to be played. Please give me something playable. Mm, no, okay, come last on. Pack, last come pack. on. Fusion. It's got to be something magical. Brage. I'm thinking Brage. Or Dante. Those are like the two. Again, that puts the entire archetype into perspective if we can do that. I'm going to flip it up. I'm not going to look right away. I'm not going to look right away. No. Oh, my. It's a Shadal Beast. It was, it was close. We that, maybe re-roll it. almost as good as it gets, though. We no, got a nice I think we maybe re-roll it, dude. We didn't fusion get anything. A whole bunch of the little Crazy. Shadals, two beasts. This is really, really good. Uh... Only super rares in today's opening. Strange. Unfortunately, since we did get stiffed on hollows, I, I still think our non-hollow luck was outstanding. And it's not enough for me to really consider re-rolling this. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the glue for the archetypes was high rarity. There's things like Construct here. You might, really might re-roll it. I, this yeah, is a really the hard for call. The like I was saying, is pretty high. Because you do want to pull like a Dante a or a Construct or something, nice or the Delteros or the Baxia. Construct is an ultra. Wind is an ultra. Either one of those would have been great to be able to have a target. I mean, do we really want to play just a bunch of commons um, that don't do those anything? Those are the cards that really can make archetypes come to be. Unfortunately, we didn't get lucky enough to pull them this time, and I don't think I'm going to get lucky enough to get that same kind of. Oh come on! on a reroll of the pack. So I think I got to stick with this here. I think this has got to be good enough. I'm going to add it to collection. Yeah. I, again, I can hold out hope thinking that if we can come out today with a win, maybe on the wheel next week, we can spin a secret ultra or even a starlight rare on the I wheel. I think it is or a hard Alex call. Got lucky like he did, he did pull play steel, sets of pretty much all the comments he wanted. Together an archetype from there. And you can, uh, you can really, really fuck up this set. To it, and I think that's good enough. I'll, I'm happy with it. You know what? Yeah. I, I think we can still build something <laughs> crazy with this. Uh, Castell too. Yeah. Constructing. Let's see what we got. 
Panzer Dragon's also pretty sick because we do still have instant fusion in this series. And uh, I, that may Time be, to go I'll visit like the missed. luckiest boy I alive. You, all all we're missing is Falco. Hedgehog now. We can check Come at on. the end, but Show me I'm the Falco. almost certain that we do, which means we do have our Shadal fusion. Show me the Falco. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Only a few packs left of Duelist Alliance, and what a fucking opening this has been. There's still in, there's still ways this could be better. There's still ways that we can take this to like the extreme. But he's, he's hamming it up. Let's just he's see what happens. I, I think if anything in these last three packs, I really want Shadal Falco because that is the only Shadal rare we are Come missing. On. I can live with one. Just but if I'm going to be really greedy, it, I really want another Shadal Fusion or another Shadal Fusion monster. I will Come take on, just fucking flip Winda it, dude. So Talking about this pack for 35 like, seconds. I, You know, I know, we all know what's so in it. Let's see what we get here. Ugh. Nothing crazy in this pack. I think that Last gives pack. us some Come more on. stuff for Sateller. Two more Battle packs. Battle Guard Howling is also like an okay card as well. You oh, we are stadium, far beyond playing Battle Guard Wars. Howling. That's fine. Second to last pack. Oh, yeah, I saw that shadow and really freaked out. I think that's our fourth one. That is which, our fourth I mean, one, yeah. It's still four Shadal Dragons, don't get me wrong. But that could have literally last pack, been last pack. any of the other rares would have been happy. That would have been a third beast. That would have been one Falco. And I think this maybe rounds out a playset of 9-volt if we don't already have it. So our Battery Man strategy is getting bolstered as well. Last pack luck. Come on. Come on. Oh, I saw, oh. I I saw oh a fusion and a shadow, and I'm like, if that's a wind of Fal oh, or you know wind of Falco, I'm going to shit. Do you think One he's re-rolling? This may be my only copy of Monarch Stormforth, which Stormforth oh, so we should re is an insanely yeah. powerful card. Let, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. So I was right. Three copies of 9-Volt. So I'm happy we got those because that just means we have another we deck that we can right? possibly play. For Four sure. Hedgehogs, seven Squamata, one Stormforth. That kind of sucks because there's a yeah, lot of decks that can take advantage of Stormforth. That's a good point. It is what let's it is. But honestly, that is what it is. But let's reroll. so far ahead. No, let's reroll. I think it's really we easy gotta re -roll. in this set to pull just a bunch of cards that don't really work well together. I really wish like the Deneb yeah. and Oh, we got Sephira nothing to do with Sephira. Just, or the Yang Zing creation. Yeah, that Shadal creation cards. is just sitting there. But if there, we come out you know? on top of today's episode, we only pulled one we perfect day. We didn't get the place out of Burner Visor. You know, reroll with re a window or a construct or whatever we feel like is missing. But you already know what we're playing today. Let's get to building. Bolo Suki, thank you. How we may have been just a yes. <laughs> I am going to come. Oh my god. White, 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 white. Wow. I can't believe he's playing it. I didn't realize he pulled three white prints. That's insane. That's harder than pulling like an ulti. That shit's a short print. Oh my god. So wait, we actually have constructed quality King of the Skull Servants. I mean, this deck, uh, if you're unfamiliar with King of the Skull Servants, it's really competent weeks ago, but I decided to bring something extra spooky with this release of Duelist Alliance. A card I completely overlooked in the opening that I didn't even talk about is actually one of the best support cards for this archetype that we piloted a long time ago. Pretty sure we got a game off of Alex with this thing, and with the release of White Prince, I guarantee we'll get another one. White Prince is crazy. If he's sent to the graveyard, we get to send a Skull Servant okay, so and how a does this in beat White construct? from the deck to the graveyard. Oh. Foolish Burial for two. If he's just the three wing the blast, bin, he can banish two other Skull Servants and This deck has a 100% prog Servant win rate the there's deck. no this way this card like literally does it all it's also called skull servant in the graveyard exactly what we need so white prince is uh kind of ridiculous right we're going to be able to get some extremely good value off of him if we send him off of armageddon knight especially if we send him off of curry bandit and of course like i got talked curry about bandits mentioned is a card that we picked up off the wheel a normal while ago. So normal king beat Richard over construct all these cards of the graveyard <laughs> mizuki too i think we ended up getting <laughs> just a draw a king and normal it pack, which came <laughs> up pretty good today actually i'm really happy that i have another copy to be able to spend to summon back i mean yeah i mean so charge at three. It does do it. Ever you know. so nasty in this deck here, right? Just reborn all three King of the Soul Ever so nasty. Massive. We said that's so great. Like Alex outside oh, three ever so 5,000 attack point guys. Uh, unlikely, I'll say. <laughs> And then, of course, Zombie Master is another great way to be able to pitch these Dead Skull Servants from our hand or the Mizukis that end up just sitting in there to replace them with a 5,000 attack point guy when he hits the graveyard. I think this is solid. This is going to be a lot of fun to play here, and hopefully this will allow us to take a victory and take the lead in Progression Series Season 2, the first time in, God, a very long time. If all else fails, we have our old buddy Plague this Spreader Zombie. This Phoenix Wing is very smart. He's like, I know that fucker is playing Shadows. We get a night and make Bryonic. From what I know, Brionic's not too bad, right? You know, he's a pretty good card. Let's he's have a little right. fun. He's okay. Let's see if Alex is ready for it. I can't believe it. I can't oh, believe it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> we are fucked. We're so fucked. What? 
This is crazy. We're so fucked. Oh my god. We're playing like the most consistent white deck of all time, but oh man. Simo is playing the integration special. Oh god. This man has Black Dragon Collapse Serpent and White Dragon Wyver Burster too. He's just playing them as beaters. He's just attacking with them. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh man. Um Yeah, this is devastating. Uh charge double Lila. It's insane. We have fucking Eclipse Wyvern, apparently. I don't know how we got that. Do we have a target for Eclipse? Oh, fuck. Dad is an Eclipse Wyvern target. Jesus Christ. This deck is unbelievable. If we actually get to play Shadal in Oh, fuck. We have Lava Ball Chain. So oh, God. Do this, but I don't think it was nearly what? That good. So I'm excited. The Veilers. It's a light. Time, and uh, we get to play with some incredibly yeah, powerful we can't cards win. today. So <laughs> let's do the card by card. Obviously, we're playing a Chaos deck of sorts, but cut me oh. some slack. I don't have all the Shadal. No, dude. We will cut you like some slack on this one. This is this is a Chaos deck, but it's a it's a far cry from fucking Flamvel Fire Dog beat play. BLS. Concept, BLS this is something else. Dragon. What's nice Busy is Dad, thank you for the 500. Rest in peace, headphone Eclipse users. Wyvern Polar Suki, I think I already thank you, but uh, thanks again. Sets. And if this gets hit sent to the grave, we can just banish the Dark Arm. <laughs> so to banish the Wyvern via the Chaos Sword, the BLS. Yeah, we got to ban fucking Construct. Dragon Collapse Serpent. So because of that, this just gives us a lot of ways to access just Was giant Shadow Chaos ever a thing? Oh, yeah. And it looked pretty similar to this. We have all of our other generic Shadal stuff. So, of course, we have Beast, which when it's sent to the grave, draws a card or if we can actually flip it it draws two and discards one this is what kind of sucks about not having falco is because falco could just bring this back and then we get this effect like really easily but because of like that, it was a little more consistent you know you had three math instead of two one most of the time just get two math but honestly, that's what the fine. fuck where Dragons did we find two math flips, but also pops the spell and trap when it's sent to grave hedgehog when it's flipped adds should all fusion but when it's sent to grave adds a should all monster this and is Squamata yeah this is like oppenheimer explaining the math behind the height the uh the atomic bomb which is fantastic to supplement that of course we have our two copies of mathematician that we acquired from dragons of legend this being able to dump anything that's level four lower means that we can just get battles of legend great, war of the dragon like glow bulb to set that's up what i heard plays potentially we've also got an armageddon knight here just to act as the third mathematician to send any of our things it's also good because <clears> this is level four so pairing with our chaos dragons means we have instant is that a Yu -Gi -Oh hoodie yes four. then we also have two copies of lila just to deal Pyramid. with that bro it's a Made light it. but additionally i think they're out of this the one though name, they have the like the um, charge of the light brigade from astral pack it's crazy how that worked out. The camo but also, with it's the pink. To mill uh, is an effect, not a cost. embroidery on it. Does in the end phase. But unfortunately, so I think Lila this cream one is the best one. I get compliments on this from normies. Like They're like, yo, effect. that's a really cool hoodie. And I go, thank you. Defense, but also little do they know that I'm a little freak. Plays. And then Gores is just a nice defensive card to have as well, since we don't have much defense in the trap department. Oh, yeah. And then Maxi's still legal as well. For the spells, I already mentioned. Oh, yeah. Also, Maxi's legal. I don't like that the milling is cost, so we can't trigger Shadals. But if the graveyard for Chaos Synergy, it gets us to a Lila, which uh, is most the time perfect. I don't fine. think they know. And overall, it's just a fine card. Peeps, thank you for the raid. 2,500 viewers. Holy Should fuck. Everyone's excited to see Duelist Alliance. And, uh, when Gage sees this, he's going to lose his mind. And only one soul charge because we only In honor of Peeps, let's uh, listen to the... Uh, because we're sort of limited by progression the burger series mate goals, sound. I did feel like Ready? we had to play some traps. So we're playing the limited bottomless, the limited compulse, uh, the sinister shadow games we pulled, obviously, because why not? Then judgment warning and torrential tribute. For the extra, of course, we have Shadal Construct, which is one of the craziest cards printed at this time. And I was gonna go to put my pizza this. in really but while he was Falco talking, again, but Falco I was like, no, I won't do it. Construct, I should have done it. Valuable, I didn't realize he was gonna again, talk for ten minutes. We have some synchros in the form of How about those pyramid spellground mats, by the way? They're gone. Which is valuable. I feel kind of. I'm a little. Or or anything like I'm that. I'm not like mad, mad. Of rank four, so but they gave me three of them. And they were like, you can give away two, and of course you can keep one. I'm like, thank you so much. They didn't give me the one with raw edges. They gave me three stitched mats. I was like, see, but the one I really wanted was the one that was unstitched. I need to evaluate what deck Gage is playing. I didn't tell them that, so it's my own damn fault. After this judgment, we've got triple MST in here as well, just for any spell or trap. He's explaining MST. I mean, what do you? 
think it's in there for. Just negating effects and just providing more defense. Are the Raj ones more? No, they weren't. But like that's how spellgrounds were. Like Pyramids is the first company that started stitching the edges really on cloth mats. Look at this. I want to make sure I have all my bases covered for what Gage might play this episode. So I'm going to take those two cards. But it's nice for the what's it called? Here, I just want to make sure I have the collaboration that they put in the raw ones. I love the raw edges on spellgrounds. They just look so nice. Could potentially still be on the table, although. And Jenny, I feel like I miss old spellgrounds. I have a I know we have spell and I'll probably raffle and it off at some point. I just want to make sure we're covered on that department. I think we've got enough aggro. Let's just make sure we're more well rounded. So, in any case, this is going to be a fantastic episode. I think it already has been, in all honesty. So, let's not make you guys wait any longer. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to duel. <laughs> 30 minutes on the dot. Okay, I'm going to put my pizza in the oven. And uh, then I'm going to come back and we're going to watch this. Now, you all have to... You all... Okay. You all have to be normal while I'm gone. Okay? I'm going to be gone for maybe 60 seconds. You all have to be normal. Okay? Okay, were you all normal? Ooh, you, you, you're really not normal. Don't worry, I didn't expect it of you. I know who you Gage, are. We aren't even. If you were normal, you'd be yet. on Farfa's like channel. This episode could That's already not true. just be cut That's probably right less here, true. and we could just do like a part two of Duelist Alliance. Because holy crap, how are you feeling? Amazing. This set, like you said, brings a whole bunch of new archetypes into the game. That this are set makes me like come year or two or something like that going yeah. down swinging thank you for really the 200 bits fizzy dad thank you for the thousand bits piss 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 swolax thank you for 25 june the queen thank you for the 18 archetypes with a passion but that's just me i think just because i'm more of a boomer and i grew up with the older Oh you know that's just kind of how i am there's like a couple archetypes that are neat uh dynamists in particular you know they've had their time in prog season one so i can't be too upset you know at you know all pendulum cards how do you feel though i think you're particularly fond of some of the pendulum cards if i recall yeah i played a lot during this era of Oh. i played in like a lot of regionals i was traveling all the time to duel um so i mean i guess i have some fond memories of it but looking back on it i also think pendulums were a pretty mighty mistake right a lot of them ended up yeah. just being really unfortunate and an entire master rule uh master rule excuse me warped around it they had to change it because oh. it was so bad right <laughs> yeah we're not even at that Setting point yet either this is just purely master rule three and uh 
we're probably going to see why in, in the minutes, next few episodes. Time. Maybe not the next few, but as we move along, why they had to ultimately kind of shift things around. Because Ugh. Pendulums, man, they do introduce a lot of complexity to the game and a lot of unfun stuff as Ugh. well. But interesting how the things are going to develop, especially since we decided Ugh. to ban oppression and emptiness. So a lot of like the hard counters to a lot of decks like that uh, completely turned off now. But obviously, I think it's for the better too, because I think it just makes Ugh. for a more fun viewer experience. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, yeah, 100%. Like I said uh, in the judgment if you royal oppression my pendulum summon this whole mechanic was for nothing i don't think it actually i would be angry so uh no i think we're definitely going to be moving in even though this era of Yu-Gi-Oh might not be the fondest memories for some people we'll make our own memories in the progression series i i said it in the uh, overview of the oh set but i feel like this was maybe roll the fucking the most transformative set in yu gi ohs history modern uh modern yu gi oh history and uh I think it's really hard to beat a set like this. The amount of just cards across the entire set that it introduced to the game, there, there's really never enough. I think the only set, I think I said, that even came close to this is probably Power of the Elements. And even then, I still don't think it stood up to what Duelist Alliance did for the game. Yeah, crazy you bring up Power of the Elements. That's a new, new set, man. Just goes to show how yeah. powerful these sets are nowadays. Exactly. Well, let's not, let's stop uh, let's stop talking, Gage. I know everyone wants to see this duel. So shout out the patron, Jason Burns. Oh my God! Three minutes Thank of that. Thank you for the support. Big episode, my friend. Big episode. Best of Ugh. luck to you in the rock paper scissors. Let's see how it plays out. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's okay. go. All right, you win the okay. first die okay. roll or the first RPS of the uh, the pendulum era here. Let's see what you choose to do. This is tough. This is tough. Uh, no, come go on. First. I'm like, it's... don't make me wait here. I still don't know. I think one of the fun things about this is that with all the changes um, we made to our format, we're dead. I actually don't know like what either of us is going oh to bring God, to the table. Oh my God, play a fucking honestly. card. Like, there's so well, I know what I'm bringing, but I it, realistically, the viewers going into this episode, <sighs> it, it was like anything's game. So it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. So we'll go to main one, and uh, I think I guess we should just go for it. Let's start. With 3339. With Charge of the Light Brigade. <laughs> oh, okay. I do like this card. Send three for cost. Let me see it. Oh, oh! that's a Shadal Squamata. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. How good did you pull from this set, dude? <laughs> Don't worry about it, Gage. We're gonna wow, go we ahead can and just drop that here, huh? Yeah, and uh, we're just gonna normal summon Lila. We're gonna go to end phase did and you no three. Did you want to okay. trigger your Squamata? Did you want to dump something with it? It does not trigger because charge is cost. cost oh, it is yeah. cost. You're right. You learn something new. Yes. All right, there you the go. Should all only work on effect, which Lila happens to be here. It does. All right, you can Lila end phase. That's perfectly okay. Three darks punish this man. Okay, we're gonna mill. Nice mills. There's no nothing. Okay, go ahead. Sinister Shadow Games, uh, yep, too. That's yep, an yep, ultra. Yep, you yep, really did yep, get the whole yep, yep. package. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> All right, man. I'll draw for turn here. I'm going to go to my standby. Let's see what you're cooking. I'm cooking some gas, bro. You're about, you're going to get destroyed here. Hold on. This is going to be great. <laughs> All right, man. Hold up. With the release of... Somehow we have engineered one of the only scenarios where we could just kill him. He could just get murdered here. Cards. One of them I almost completely overlooked, but I'm pretty sure this deck gave you a fright last time I played. Oh, it might be a couple weeks out from Halloween, but I still feel like it's fair. white I'm woman jump one scare. for one, and I am going to discard the mighty skull servant from my oh hand my god <laughs> the white prince <laughs> yes sir i'm gonna use my one for one and i am going to summon the king of white 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 what god. the fuck why did we do that <laughs> down, i'm bro. down only a thousand attack but what if I told you I have the foolish burial in my hand? Oh! For the white prince? White, yes, white, sir, white, 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 white. This effect is sure. unreal, dude. If he's sent to the graveyard, I can foolish burial. He's going to normal another, another king and just and win. And a lady in white from my hand or deck directly to the graveyard. So, uh, yep. weird. I'm going to take them from the deck. I'll pull a skull servant and a lady of the white, put him in the graveyard. And you know Thankfully, it's hand and deck, right? Mm -hmm. Like, imagine, like, they're like, this card's crazy. It's only going to be from the deck, just in case you happen to hard draw the lady in yeah, But right. in any case, uh, this Skull Servant's gotten a bit bigger now. Yeah, I'll, you know what? I'll even adjust the stats. 4,000 attacks stacked on this guy. Already. Yeah, look at that. I love that they have this yeah. feature now. This makes this king seem so much more intimidating. He means business, bro. He means business. You know what? He's feeling a little lonely out there. I feel like I got to give him some backup. Uh, I'm going to okay. normal summon... Uh, 
I, I think this is his side chick or something like that. The lady in white. <laughs> I'll hit the field here. <laughs> yeah, I don't so, like her. Uh, level three or lower zombies, except herself, can't be destroyed by battle, and they're unaffected by spell and trap cards. So little dark hole yeah. action isn't going to even bother me. I'm going to go to my yeah. battle phase. 4,000 attack. Surely it goes through. It's going to hurt. Damage step. You have honest? No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. And no, even I then, it wasn't okay. good. I, wasn't be like, no, you I, I gave you a fright We are your getting own. so sorked. We're getting so <laughs> amazingly right, sorked. Um, I'm feeling great, dude. It wouldn't have mattered because King, if it's killed by battle, you could have just brought him yeah. back anyway. It comes back really easy. <laughs> All right, man. I'll yeah. back him up with a back row. Your move. Okay. I will draw. We win. <laughs> God damn name. it. Let's see what we're going to do here now. All right, we got to deal with king. We got to deal with lady. We've got our we've got our hands full here. We've got our hands full here. I'm not gonna lie, Gage. This is kind of scary. How is this scary? You have <laughs> king of the skull circle. Normal Armageddon knight. Uh, he's send dragon. Thick. Pop the back row. <laughs> Dark hole. No joke. Eat everything but the king. He's Special big. dad. Kill yeah. the king. All right, set here's solemn. what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and normal summon Armageddon knight and activate the. Effect. Yeah, that's fine. That's pretty good. With our Armageddon knights. Let's go ahead and dump ourselves a Shadal Dragon. This is literally the, the play. Dragon's effect, we're going to target to pop your back. I just ta so I talked back. through the play. Um, give me a second. We actually don't even need to Dark Hole. Here. We could just make I'm Sork. I'm afraid of your Armageddon Knight, right? What are you going to do? I'll allow it. That's fine. You can <clears> pop my Phoenix Wing All right, wing what are we popping? A Wing Blast, huh? Interesting. Okay. Uh, still a bit spooked. Of course. Really Fucking big. Look at this man, he's you scared of bigger? whites. You want to make him five thousand? I'd prefer. Simo, that dex you're playing a little is a little spicy. Um, I think we just have to go full aggro here, so we're gonna drop dad. Oh shit! We do have three yeah, we darks. Win. All right, yeah, you do. I had to double Thank check. Thank you, charge of the light brigade. And then chaos orc, orc, and we yeah, win. That's fine. Okay. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and banish this collapse serpent. We'll take out the lady in white. Okay. Uh, Skull Servant's up to 5,000. I don't think he'll be here for that much longer. No. Nope. Uh, don't worry. He's not going to be here very long. Don't worry. Especially when we banish a light in the dark for oh Chaos Oh, my well. God. Bro, okay. Nice deck. All right. uh, you just, like, yeah. get oh, in, you, right? <laughs> you you dad here? You were, you were wondering what I was up to here. Uh, we're going to use get this in for a little more. to actually take uh, out your okay. king. Okay, can't attack this turn with him, but that is pretty It cannot, big. but well, honestly, we're gonna that's take fine. Over 4K. 14, 28. 14, 2800. I'm going to take them both. Yep. God, this is killer. And I'll set a card and pass. I'll draw for turn. Whites, whites, Stand whites. If anything can be to deck this spicy, yep, it's Mystical the whites. Whites, 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 Ooh, whites, 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 whites. my warning. Oh, that is I don't know how we're going to beat this, though. One. All right, man. It has to be like king in hand, here. white prince. You know what? That's like still insane. Oh, man, I can't do all of that. Mm. Oh, you cannot. I know exactly what yeah, you're you thinking. Yeah, you know, I'm looking in the graveyard for a reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got a soul charge, last card soul charge. I do think this is my only option. I'm going to soul charge. For two cards. Soul whites, charge whites, off whites, the whites, top. Whites, whites, the whites, 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 whites. my hand. Relax. <laughs> okay. You know, I got to tell you, this nuts. is, you yeah, know. Yeah, okay. What are we I doing? I'm going to pay 2000 and I'm going to bring back a Skull Servant and the White Prince. Yeah. Do we make, like, Triagon? Okay. Is there a, 4, a, a two 14. here? Why? Yeah, this is what it's going to have to be. I think, right? Protect. Okay, I got to bring back one more. Oh, so we don't die? I think if I don't. Ooh, so okay. Gonna, it's going down to 800. 800 life points. I'm going to take my two level ones, and I'm going to exceed them. I'm going to make Slacker Magician in defense position. Okay. So oh, let's see how do we out the Chaos can. Orc? I mean, yeah, that's that's literally all I have here. I think this gives me another we're just, turn we're here. We're dead, right? Dark Arm Dragon Pop. Chaos Orc target. But, uh, oh, no, I'm Slacker Magician little, has an effect on it. I'm going to uh, pass my turn to you. Go ahead. Okay, I'll draw. Stand by. Okay, main. we're dead. Uh, uh, sort of. We only have one dark engrave, right? Dead here, right? Yeah, I think we could just are. dark hole special okay. wyver burster. Uh, we're gonna banish Shadal Dragon for wyver burster. Okay. Overlay for Pappy. Oh, we're dead. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, we're dead. All right, game two. Damn. Yeah. Ooh, okay. That's I think rough. I had it anyway, but <laughs> you still. Got a nutty hand. Right? Uh, <laughs> the whites crazy. couldn't <laughs> overcome spice <laughs> to this degree. <laughs> hey, is Gage looking a little bit like Yakub to anyone? I gotta say, he has like the same enormous head, right? I was just right? saying, man, I thought my turn one was pretty <laughs> solid, bringing out the 4,000 attack point King of the Skull Servant. <laughs> but then you followed it up and you said, all right, summon Dad, summon Sork, 
GG. I was like, Who the oh, fuck is Yakub? <laughs> like, you don't know. <laughs> Charge of the Light Brigade and Lila did their job. And so, you haven't even seen, like, the best parts of my deck yet. I think that's the best really? part of everything. I haven't? So. I, I mean, I you haven't, no. I think the only thing that would scare me even more is if you have a Shadal fusion and then a Shadal fusion monster to go with it too that would be disastrous mm. for me so interesting interesting you say that all right what are you, you gonna see, pick buddy? you first can't see his hands go he's got two magnets yeah, down there he's like oh yes interesting good. yes yes okay best of luck let's see how it goes all right, best of luck duels. let's go stand by main all right we'll start ah, it off a, I'm such an annoying ass card hand why is ice hand in this deck post board i'm gonna activate it's pot of greed i'll take two more oh come on nice 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 pot of greed it is we can't ban the smiling man you got to right only the greediest of guys here this seems Irresistible, I think, is the word I'm looking for. Okay. I'm going to normal summon Curry Bandit. Yeah! The Curry Bandit! Like it. Then, right. uh, Folks, subscribe to the Curry Bandits. turns pretty good there. I'm just going to go to the end phase, and we'll use Curry Bandit's effect. Anything before I leave See, the main phase? Any, any Veilers? Eh, you're fine. All right, all right. We'll tribute him, and then we'll excavate top five cards in my deck. We'll go one, two... Three, oh. Four. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, oh. five bangers. Uh, I think I think I'm gonna pick up this book of life. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pick up this book of life. Let's so go. We'll, that. we'll put the rest That's of not bad. the graveyard. Couple zombies in there. Mizuki and Plague is not bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think both of Make those cards Bryo are free pitch now, white my prince. Oh. I think so, yeah, kind of crazy, right? What a world we live in. All right, well, let's see how the green comes out. It's only fair. It's only fair. It's only fair, right? Yeah. We both got to. All right. Uh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I think I'm just gonna go. We're gonna play a bit slow. I'm just gonna do a nice T set and pass. We'll All check right, it back. T set. Okay, I like it. I'm gonna draw for I'm my like turn. Like P set. <laughs> I'm gonna Stand pee -pee. by main phase. All right, man. What is that set card again? All I already right, forgot. I'm gonna start with um. I'm gonna start with Dark Hole. I'm gonna just wipe this monster off the face of the earth. Let me see what it is. Kind of a weird they should play into the Shadal right? deck, but yeah, go ahead and search you know, whatever. Had, you you'd Maybe prefer the not the flip effect. You know, he's just got what another guy uh, in he can't this summon. Particular instance. We'll go ahead and grab ourselves a dragon. Okay, not bad. All right, I am going to open up my turn with Zombie Master. Whoa. Ooh, this is going to get gross. It is. Um, I am going to use Zombie Master's effect. I will pitch White Prince from my hand. Whoa. And I will seems pretty good. target the Plague Spreader Zombie. Zombie Master pitching White Prince for Plague. We might be go? dead. Uh, I know you have a Book of Life in your hand. What do you Veiler this? Well. This is like such White a weak Veiler, though. Some dudes for you. This is very scary. I think you want him to extend yeah, it into the Plague Spreader, okay. and then you uh, fire so the we'll Compulse the on whatever you make. From the graveyard, and then I'll trigger yep. my White Prince. Get dumping. Yep. Put a Skull Servant and a Lady of the White in the graveyard here. Do we have anything at this juncture? Mm -hmm. Anything you want to do? Nope. Okay. I am going to Synchro Summon for six. We make Brio. We bring out Brionic, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Okay, so we Brio target it's the back. This guy's also gets still compost. legal. Actually, he's banned in this format now, but in our format, <laughs> well, he's legal. In our format, he's legal. So that's pretty Yeah, good, that's right? what I yeah. meant to say. All right, uh, I am going to use Brionic's ability. I'm going to discard this King of the Skull Servants, and I'm going to bounce that background. Uh, Matt, this is a hard I read. That's a mirror force. Will... That's a mirror force. <laughs> oh, Chain okay. it. It's compulse. Compulsory evacuation device. Okay. Um, all right. He can all right. Me. That's fine. Okay. Yep. You fool! You have repulsed my here. my Brianac, uh, the uh, go white barrier. Book of but the law of attraction and the book of hedgehog that I dark hold. And I'm what is it? The book of tricknology will <laughs> reveal my my whites from yep. the graveyard. <laughs> okay, uh, last Yakub joke. Last Yakub joke. Okay, again. we're done. Soft we're done. Once per turn, it's once per copy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna reborn the king of the skull servants. So He's he big. Is three thousand? If my math is right. Yeah, and I just realized my math is wrong. I don't. I thought I had game. <laughs> oh God, bro. You didn't have game. He's I'll got Baylor. CJ Alex says, "I'm the only it's guy in here who gets this um, joke." Mm, Sound off in the YouTube okay. comments. Do you get the Yakub jokes? Wait, Give me some feedback. Game I was looking for. <laughs> Another line that I figured out here. Let me. I am just going to send it. I'll go to battle phase with these two. I'll go eighteen three. Uh, I'll take it all. It's fine. Um, it's 32. I felt really good with this amount of damage on board last time, but it didn't really get me anywhere. Um, 
I don't want to put any extra deck monsters on board. <laughs> this this board doesn't look very good. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> this board does not look very powerful. I'm going to try to respect that. I'm going to try to respect that as best as I can here. I'm just going to... Uh, I'll pass my turn there. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, we'll draw. Stand by me. Oh, we got like nine normals in this hand. <laughs> Oops, all normals. I, I guess the wide reverster is helping out a lot. white dragon and a legin on the board. You can't out that? <laughs> what if we math? They're a send... bit more oh, uh, sticky know. than Fuck. blue eyes and Legion, <laughs> if we're being honest. Still got plenty. Ice of hand doesn't here. even float. Uh, I think the move is just set and pass. You God, this deck sucks. Stand by main. What do we got? How you feel safe enough doing that? Like you're dead. That's Shadal Dragon, and you put my Bryonic back. Okay then. Uh, I will use Plague Spreader <laughs> Zombie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, He's going to have to I'll expend use, the effect. Uh, I'll use my here. Mizuki. I'll bring back this Plague Spreader Zombie. It's fine. And uh, I'm going to Synchro off for six. I'm going to make the Bryonic you gave me back. I'm going to bounce this Shadal yep. Dragon to your hand. And Baylor. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. <laughs> you go back to main one. <laughs> what was that you were saying about how do I feel safe behind a win, set right? defense position Shadal Dragon gauge? <laughs> All right, bro, relax. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. All right, let's see what you do here. Um, this is going to telegraph to me if you have fusion in your hand, depending on what you decide to keep around. If I put 3,000 to you, it doesn't kill you. It puts you to 200. Leaving me with Brionic is, like, pretty good for, for me. Yeah, okay, I'm going to go I'm gonna go battle phase. I'll attack with King of the Skull Servants first. This yeah, this is rough. Squamata. Oh, okay. I will take out the Brionic. That's fine, yeah, okay. All right, taking out the extra deck monster, he wants to get rid of some damage. I'll go main two, and... Uh, I mean, you are playing Skull Service. Yeah, right. <laughs> I am afraid of just dying out of nowhere. <laughs> they are pretty big, aren't they? Uh, kind of sad my Mizuki's gone now. I thought I had it there. All right, uh, I'm just going to pass turn to you then. Okay, I'll draw. Oh, finally. Stand Ooh, main. we only right. have the one ice hand, don't what we? What are we dealing with here? We can normal so fire hand to eat the plague. Skull Servant. Got to deal with this big old Skull Servant. Seems like an okay position. Uh, Seems like it'll be with eight <clears throat> normals in my hand. Banish Squamata for Wyber Burster. Yeah. Okay. Normal, normal Dragon Overlay. Okay. Oh, wait. Did you normal this king? I did. Yeah. I, normal him. I think I did, right? Let me go to the log. Did you? Am I thinking last game's when you won for one day? Yeah. Last game's the one I won for one Or did Dragon you zombie master? No, you zombie, zombie master. It, it is special. Oh, okay. You did. Yep. Okay. I was about to. One on one. I was, for a second, I was like. Oh, this is about to go really poorly <laughs> for me. <laughs> you can slurp him up. That's fine. Yeah, we'll take him. Uh, we'll just go battle for 21. This is the most boring game of all time. Where is it? What do you take me for? That's <laughs> Okay, that's good. <Yeah. laughs> Draw for turn. Let's see here. You don't have a ton of options here, so I'm curious to see where you're going to go with this. Well, they all start with soul charge, so... Oh, God, he's again. so he's good. Yeah, I mean, okay. what do you expect here? Uh, I think I'm gonna go for <laughs> so three good. of these here. Go Soul for, charge, uh, zombie master. master. Fuck. Go three thousand. And I will summon back zombie master, Armageddon Knight, and the Bryonic. Oh, scary. Okay. Yep. Armageddon Knight's triggers. Let's dump. It does. Um, probably unsurprising to you, I'm gonna dump another white prince. And this then we'll is crazy. Whites, 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 Scary. whites, yep. whites, Skull whites, Serpent whites. And Lady in White. This is still the right play. Yeah, I'm going to uh, make my own silent honor arc. Yeah, get that 101. In defense position. Sure. Why do we even uh, get Brionic? Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to do this. Get the material back. I don't feel all too bad here, right? Like this uh, is still No, we, we fucking yep. are winning. Um, I'm just going to pass my turn there. I'll draw. Ah! <laughs> Look at that face. Go ahead. I'll draw. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Look, it took him like Age. it took him like two minutes. Look, okay. there's a cut. I'll draw. Where like his refractory period where it wears off. Look at this. Oh. Gage. He knows. He knows. Why am I so fucking good at this game? Did you top deck that too? That's really the far left of your hand. You're an animal, bro. Yeah, go ahead. Do what you want. That's fine. 
Oh, what was that you were saying about if I top deck a shit or if I have a shit all fusion in my deck and if I also happen to have an accompanying fusion I, monster? I, it's really I'm interesting so, that you say that. Please send your attributes. I've got to see what you get. Did you get the wind or did you get send the, the fucking eclipse? Okay, okay, yeah. So, do a whole lot shit all here, fusion is great. I got to figure out how I'm actually getting out of this, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say constructs nice, but I don't know how he deals. With yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We're going to go ahead and dump ourselves Squamata and Eclipse Wyvern. You really did get Construct and Shadal Fusion. Construct hit the field, oh, my friend. This shit right. is getting so bad. So this yeah, is going to get... Yeah, this is going to get gross. So I got three triggers here. Eclipse Wyvern is mandatory, so it actually has to be Chain Link 1. Uh, and then we have Squamata and Construct, uh, both of which send. So uh, we'll just use both of those in whatever order because it's basically the same thing. Is that fine? That's fine, yeah. Okay. So with one of them, we'll dump Beast. With another, we'll dump Hedgehog. And with the Wyvern, we will banish our Dark Arm Dragon. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh, new chain, we're going to go... <laughs> I don't know why I banished these. I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. Don't worry. Uh, we will go... Uh, we are never going to be able Hedgehog to actually two. use that, Dad. Yep, resolves. Hedgehog's going to get us Dragon, and Beast will draw us a card. Son of a bitch, man! Bro, I... <laughs> <laughs> if you drew that Chaos Sorcerer, I'm gonna... Oh, my I would, God. I think I would have windmill slammed it if it was Chaos Sorcerer, to be fair. I was gonna fair. say, if you drew that Chaos Sorcerer with that top deck, too, I don't, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I think we've got to do it this way. That's fine by me. Uh, I'm gonna banish a beast for... Wyver Burster. Yep. Yeah, I think we gotta do it that way. Uh, let's go ahead and then normal summon Ice Hand. Yeah, we just need something that sure. uh, can crash. Make our or we'll make 101. 101. Yep. No, you gotta, go attack. Sure. you gotta go attack. You gotta go attack. No, you gotta go attack. We will hit into your 101. Yep, and it protects itself from destruction. Does protect and then it, itself. Yep. Then it dies and by battle, right? Second main, uh, I have normal Wait, this sorry. turn. sorry. It doesn't remove itself from combat, right? It dies by battle. Uh-oh. Chet? Chet? That's my pizza time. I'm going to be right back. I think we are just going to pass on that. Okay. Alrighty. Heart of the cards, baby. I'll draw for turn. Stand by me. Bit of a precarious situation. We Look at him gripping his in. head. It's He's gripping his one. old thinker. I, outing this construct is actually a pain in the ass, I'm starting to realize. It's uh, not, yeah. <laughs> it's not coming really. Every person feel, in 2015. Like, I feel okay about my position, but I know what, what your deck is capable of. And I don't feel safe in the slightest. That's what frightens me. I'm going to activate... White Prince in the Graveyard. White, white, Allows white, 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 himself, white. And two Skull Servants from the Graveyard to then special summon one from the deck here. Um, specifically a king. Specifically the king from the deck here. Keep in mind, king is boosted by not only all the Skull Servants, but king himself. So this is a 4,000 attack point king of the Skull I mean, servant. but it doesn't be Construct. It I is tried to build a board to insulate from this. Yeah, it's a special summon monster, so like Construct's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, mm hmm I think I just have to set him up for defense. You have to waste an attack on it, though. On what? What do you mean? 
you do on yeah. the king if I want to clear it. So, mm -hmm. but you are correct. Construct does clear this quite well because it doesn't kill it in battle. Yeah, I think this is all I got here. I'm gonna set two cards, and uh, I'm going to pass my turn. Go ahead. What the fuck could he I be setting? Stand by. What on main. earth would he set? Like wind blast out of you both games. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you don't have any cards in hand, yeah, so not like that's gonna fucking do anything. What's wind blast, really? <laughs> <laughs> Still have another white prince, which is mildly concerning in this situation. Is he bluffing I soul we'll charge? I guess he's like too okay. low. I'm gonna try to take out the king. <laughs> yes, yes, we're going. What the fuck is he so excited about? Like the game three, man. Are you we? are so greedy. What? I'm gonna activate breakthrough skill on your construct. Oh! <laughs> he's a genius. Okay. Burial from a different dimension! Whoa! I'll return all three skull servants <laughs> to boost this guy up to 7,000. Battle damage through! <laughs> Cleanly, bro! That's a game three. If he I've is the seen. white master! <laughs> he is Yakub! Oh my god, dude. God. I'm sorry. How am I gonna play around breakthrough skill burial from a different dimension? What the fuck? Skill that issue! Skill so issue! Sick. Absolute right, skill issue. Three. That was so telegraphed. I saw it coming from a mile away. Holy shit, he is the white master. He is the white master. Gage, we've had some we've had oh. some moments in, in Prague. That, <laughs> that was that's unreal. gonna be up there. Shane <laughs> burial I still, from a different dimension. What just happened? You <sighs> Break through skill to my construct this and burial the back the soul. This, this match is so fucking funny. Immediately, that was like okay, the okay. worst. One more, one more. Magic cylinder. We just got an OTK I've baby. In my life, effectively, is what that was. Alex's uh, last hand nicely, was dog shit. Worked, we just right? need a it's hand that is just that dog battle shit battle one more time. The shadow realm. I'm gonna go first. I feel like I need to have some setup. Like I don't. Yes, like this the hand does nothing. That, like, we just have to mill bad. We just have to mill bad, baby. This is one of those hands that we can OTK over. Best of luck, main phase one. Let's see what we're cooking. We started with charge again. So that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Oh, oh, there, goes, there goes that. Not bad. Did you feel good about that? I do feel good. Uh, yeah, okay, we're playing awesome Yu-Gi-Oh. That. I'm not going to lie. We'll grab a Lila. A rank four pass. Uh, I guess we could, yeah, theoretically. Yeah. I think we'll just normal Lila go to end phase mill three. Sounds like a okay. play. We, we can beat this. Ooh, and cards that do absolutely nothing. <laughs> Let pretty, pot pretty good mills, buddy. Like yeah, right, pretty go pretty good mills. I'll draw for turn. We'll Kill him. I mean. Okay, well, I mean, Shadal Fusion out the way, I feel a lot more confident putting extra deck monsters on the field. Ah, that Valor is going to really fuck You're it up. You're assuming I only have one. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to assume you only have one. <laughs> if you pull more than one, he you said, oh, are yeah. the perfect If you have two, just take fuck the rest me. Of the series. It's yours, bro. I like <laughs> Let's see here. Um, all right, this is. Are you killing me next turn? No lights in the graveyard. He just passes. No, all right, we'll do this. We'll play it slow. I'm going to start with Curry Bandit. Sure. And I'll just go directly to my end phase. We'll yes! <laughs> He's so... Uh, I, I love thinking. him. Okay, uh, end of main phase. Please yeah. activate your Valor. <gasps> Is he going to Valor this? Phase. Okay. Holy shit. Ooh, okay. That's fine. Um, I'm just going to... I'll pass my turn there. All right. Okay. I'll draw. Stand by uh -oh. main. That's, that's uh, not good. That's no good. I think I want to start applying a lot of pressure here. The special Collapse Serpent forward. attack seems okay. Uh, I'm going to banish this Valor for Collapse Serpent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to normal another Lila. Oh, oh my God. God, dude. Okay. <laughs> I mean, right. cards on the fucking table. This is right, this is all good. we got, Shock right? Master is not in our format anymore. I'll take 700. No problem. Maxi is a lawyer. Very okay, true. Yeah, we'll this is Maxi is a lawyer. I'll take it all. 35. Okay, uh, second main, second main, second main, second main. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. I'm gonna overlay these two, and we're just gonna make Lavable chain. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, let's use. Why would you chain. not overlay both yeah, Lilas so you can get okay. the collapse yeah, serpent trigger? Uh, I'm gonna send. Okay, sure, go for it. Uh, we're just gonna send Beast to draw a card. Okay, sounds like a plan. <clears throat> cool. Okay. Uh, we'll go to end phase and mill three for Lila. Yep. <clears throat> Three stinkers. Dude, your Lila's, uh, Three stinkers. Your Lila's not been helping you out. <laughs> not a ton. Not yeah, a she's ton. built like some of your best cards in your deck. I don't know how you feel about that. Okay, I'll draw. Stand by main. Kill. Sure. And I will take a moment to ponder my options. He's counting. He's All right, counting. I'm going to start my turn by normal summoning Armageddon Knight, and I'm going to use his ability. That's fine. Yes. Okay, I am going to send my Plague Spreader zombie. What? From deck Why are we doing that? I'm going to use the Plague Spreader. I'm going to stack, and I'm going to... 
summon this. Chain Maxi. That resolves. Take your card. And now I gotta, I I gotta recalculate this. <laughs> now you gotta reevaluate. <laughs> yeah. Can he kill him? Yeah. If we have a one for one, like one for one foolish, we probably could. you have in deck, I think I can give you another two cards. I think this has to be worth it. I'm going to start with Foolish Burial. Mm. Yep. Yes. I'm going to send a White Prince from Deck to Graveyard. What? Yeah. So and I uh, will White Prince send a Lady in White and the Skull Servant? Yep. Sure. Yep. I'm going to one for one. I'll put yes. my Ooh. Skull Servant. <laughs> yes. We'll summon the King. We'll get the King. Yes. Yeah. Take a draw. This King is 4,000? He is 4,000 at the moment. That's correct. Get a dark check. There are three darks in that graveyard. There will be four after I bounce this Lavalo chain. Uh, we'll bounce go this Lavalo chain. Use the Plague Spreader and the Armageddon Knight. Oh my Look god, wait, is, the, la is know, the last card there. white? Brio white and then Prince? Brio, I will bounce the... Uh, why would no, I give you lady. back the Lavalo chain? This is like pretty much the same damage on anyways. I'm going to give you back the Lila. Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> Play around honest, you know, just respect it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we are dead to the Sork, right? I got in your head Wait. that first game. <laughs> All right, a uh, whole bunch Wait, of damage. are we dead to the Sork? Do we have a Light Engrave? Or we have to. 13 Here, cards. This thing's 5,000... This feels all right. Okay. I'm gonna go no shot. We all played in around that. We have a Lila. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, the Veiler's gone. 32. Mm -hmm. My math is right. 23 direct with Brionic. Yep. One. Uh, all right. I all mean, right, hands on turn. the table. That's that's what we have. It's all in. Okay, we lose. All right. Stand by main. What are we cooking with here? Got a white what are cooking prince. with? He's like, so you got how, do I, how do I win? I have chaos or I can. That'd be the ideal solution. I got, I, like I said, man. I the weird part one. about this is that, okay, yeah, we do have a Lila. Okay, the weird well, part about this is that we actually don't have too much to do here. outside the Chaos Sork. <laughs> like Chaos Sork glow bulb for Stardust or something? That Lila with the Brio was actually like... That's what, that's what caused the difference? God, very Maxie, very yeah. heads up. It's, Our first yeah, game determined by I think I'd actually Maxie. have it if it wasn't for that. I don't really think I can afford to gamble here. All right, let's yep. go Lila. We're going to banish the other Lila for a collapse. Jesus. Wait, what? This will Burst. What the fuck are we doing? Uh, we'll overlay huh? for a 101. Yep. What? Yeah, Hello? probably going to take him, but I still want to Wait, think. am I fucking missing something? This is 21. What are we doing? Why are we doing this line? Yeah, yeah that's the correct one. Thank you sure. very much. <laughs> and then okay, we will sork. banish our only light, sadly. And uh, we'll get rid of a dark as well, and we'll go chaos sork. Yeah. We banish, and then we hit for twenty one. Banish the brio. Yeah, this is like exactly what I was petrified of: is giving you chaos sork food. What is he at? Is he at one still, or is he? Is he? He's at yeah, two. Man. Underrated. Oh, card. he's at two already. Right. <laughs> Honestly, that thing was released how long yeah, ago? Yeah, okay, not bad. Brio's fine. It's not bad. We'll get in here. Like I said, unfortunately, I just don't have lethal. Which is scary because yeah, there are dead. cards I think that can get you out of yeah, this situation. I doubt it. Not with not with. See what happens. Give me another king of the skull server. Uh, king does. Draw. does oh work? my god! Yes. <laughs> what do you get? Normal summon. Yeah! Six thousand. Nice attack position. Whites, monster. whites, whites, <laughs> whites, no whites, 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 whites. Holy serious? shit! He's the king. He's the king. So He's the king. He's the king. He's the king. <laughs> there's nothing mind, else to I'm say like, about it. It's He's literally the king. like king He's of the king. skull service He's the king. for nothing, and Holy there's one shit. out of the deck. So it's like. Well, uh, maybe I should. I was trying to reduce your soul charge with the with the hit from Honor Arc because why didn't, why didn't theoretically, we just, why didn't we just summon the Honor Arc in defense. I don't know how many soul charge you're on. You have more soul oh. charge in deck than fucking kings. At I this guess point. that's right. I'm that's correct. Just we should have played a bunch of shit that way. And doing stuff with that. Oh my! You should have been afraid of the wrong yeah. thing, bro. <laughs> there we go. I was. Wow. I was. <laughs> Can't believe I it. there is the no the world in which we should have beat this deck. This deck is a thousand times better than ours. What else you got? So I, I, <laughs> I had the second Chaos Sork, but I had no other oh, way to get another Light Engrave. Oh, so oh, I think technically I should have. <laughs> what an both, episode. Um, what a fucking episode. I should have put both Lilas under the Lavable chain. Uh, so then that way. We I almost want to listen to the nine minutes at the end here. I don't think I, I, think I only really had wanna. one in hand. Wow, that was crazy. Let me see if I can get Gage in here.
He usually shows up when he does a really fantastic win. Oh. Well, all I can say is that the Age of Gage is back on the menu. I do think they're filming. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got. Ending of Game 2 might be the best moment of the series so far. It was unreal. Episode was amazing. I expected nothing less from Duelist Alliance. As someone who watched this series since Prague, this is one of the best steps I've ever enjoyed. Uh, this episode will always be special to me. At 53 minutes, Construct could kill 101. <laughs> Game determinative cheat. MBT is going to have a blast with this episode. I can hear his victorious screams in my head. Last Draw was a true anime moment. Uh, without exaggeration, this is the best episode yet. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right, what'd you all get me? What'd you all hand me for, uh, for prog memes? I'm sure you all had something good here. The skeleton appears. <laughs> I enjoyed this episode a lot. It's, it's so peak. It's so peak. It's so peak. Simo, game format warping cards that would go on to change out the very game functions. Gauge deck. Wait, hold up. I was like, yeah, yeah, it's the Berserk meme. Anti has drawn the White Prince, White Mare, and Lady in White hair on these fucking guys. Incredible. Next up, still the best, 1973. Literally true. Literally true. The King has returned. Oh, Fesh Prince 3 is out. Holy shit. Huge news for white boys in their mid to late 20s around the country. That's incredible. Out tomorrow at 3? Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. White man has been here. How can you tell? <clears throat> Call an ambulance. Call an ambulance. But not for me. Beautiful 6,000. You come at the king, you better not miss. Only on progression series. Here's your prog meme. Dream theater. I don't know. <laughs> he is <laughs> bros. Ace of gauge. C moment. Age of gauge. Chet, think that I'm invincible. C moment real. <clears throat> Man, next week is about to be crazy. Next week's about to be wild, y'all. Y'all can't even... Y'all... Oh, man. Wait till y'all see what happens next week, man. That's going to be Gage when he bans the Construct. <laughs> Stay tuned. He was playing in my head the whole time. Talk is cheap, motherfucker. <laughs> it's good. Simo summoned Dark Arm Dragon. It's like Father's Triumphant Return. Bring home the milk after a long absence. Seriously, that was such a good episode. Great cards from both players. Very fitting for such a good set. Terrible deck. Buenos dias, Simo. Activate only by playing a base deck when your opponent is still winning games with Chaos Monsters. Steal Simo's top deck luck. And welcome back to Simo Gets Railed. He's season two. <laughs> <laughs> I've been holding on to this sound bit for months in preparation for Gage to surpass Simo. You could have ended the series without this. Oh my god. Guess the episode? <laughs> That's true. Not a prog meme, a clip I've been holding on to. You can record an X video if you'd like. You can record an X video if you'd oh? like. Oh? Made this in 10 minutes on my phone. Thing two, thrilling crime adventures. Brought to you by Meta PCs. Use promo code RAT. All right, sweetheart. Tell us where the emerald is and nobody gets hurt. <laughs> Malone in the spooky, I love boys. the, like, How did you find tired the gauge, Wojak. <laughs> eh, you know what they say, Bugsy Jackson. Every bad guy's got a few skeletons in their closet. Rattle them, boys! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Good stuff. Thank you, CapCut. Call the ambulance, but not for me. Bestiari. That is a name I haven't heard in a long time. It's gone. Prague is watchable again. So-called free thinkers when they see Diamond Direwolf. Dire reference, dire reference. Dire. It's meant to post this last week. True. Gage finally taking the lead. It's been 3,000 years. Team Simo seeing Simo's shadow pulls. Or Team Gage seeing Simo's shadow pulls. Team Gage remembering Gage got a band ticket. Team Gage seeing Gage's new card sleeves. 
Never ask a woman her age, a man his salary, MBT, how to pronounce a Yang Zing's name, especially Dang Long's. What's wrong with Dang Long? Wait, is that one fucked up too? No. To build a board to insulate from this. Yeah, it's a special summon monster, so like, <clears throat> Construct's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, mm -hmm. I think I just have to set him up for defense. You have to waste an attack on it, though. On what? What do you mean? You do. On yeah. the king, if I want to clear it, so. Mm -hmm. But you are correct. Construct does clear this quite well because <laughs> it doesn't kill it in battle. <laughs> this is all I got here. I'm gonna set two cards. And uh, acting skills, know, though, yeah, <laughs> that's he, that's a right, Gage got a Stand an acting by degree. Main so honorary like doctor blast out of Juilliard. you both games. <laughs> Yeah, you don't have any cards in hand, yeah, so not like that's gonna look, fucking that's do anything. That's a wing blast, bro. Really? <laughs> <laughs> we still have another white prince, which is mildly concerning in this situation. I think we'll just go to battle. Okay. I'm gonna try to take out the king. <laughs> yes, yes, we're going to game three. Man, Are you we? Are so greedy? I'm gonna activate breakthrough skill on your construct, and Alex, oh, I'm going shit. to chain. Burial from a different dimension. I'll return all three skull servants. Arby to moment. Move this guy up to seven thousand battle damage through cleanly, bro. That's a game three if I've ever seen it. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Yes! Yes! Oh my god, dude! I'm, I'm sorry. Crazy. How am I gonna play around breakthrough skill burial from a different dimension? What <sighs> the fuck? That was so sick. All right. He's so good. Rattle him, boys. Send him to the bone zone. Bro, why are you doing that? Alex Simo ain't dropped yet, bro. <laughs> Don't worry. Progression Series Season 2 <laughs> drops every Monday. Listen. I was never gay, smart, or Simo smart. Make me wish that I was gay. Call me Mr. Draw, Mr. Pro. I got heaven day. Spot for Q. Hand and BT2. So y'all get some bang. Gage gon' make me play. Flame build dog for the progression. Yo, bro. <laughs> It's peak. Ugh. No time for memes. I wanted to say I think this episode was amazing. The next few are going to be the worst of all time. With Construct Ban, Alex has zero good decks, and the last time Gage was dominant, he became kind of an ass. You all don't understand how happy I am. For the winds of change to bring cocky Gage back to the banning circle. We will be Team Simo next week, 100%. You should have summoned 101 in defense! Dear Gage, I am praying on my knees to you use your band ticket on Shockmaster. <clears throat> Gage's deck today? Yes. I love this fucking video. King of the Skull Servant side chick. Good, good. Rattle him, boys. <laughs> this is a 101 and Alex. Rescue hamster. He's got weed. When you lost your C-Mo momentum, C-Mo today. <clears throat> Posting this because Steb can't. Just a few weeks ago, but I decided to bring something extra spooky with this release of Duel's Alliance. It's hard being white. There he is. The exact moment Joseph comes, true. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Good stuff. <clears throat> Remember him? This is him now. Feel old yet? An actually fun prog episode? This isn't what prog is about. Where are the cringe ass auto winner ass decks? We need MBT to restart the auction series. George Santos 2024. Thank you. Simo's echo engages Mike. Be like. Mountain 
climbing is harder than I thought. Uh, oh, hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, it is your old mountain climbing buddy, Grover. Mm -hmm. And today I have climbed up here into the mountains where it is very high. Ooh. Hello, oh, Grover. Very high. To show you what an echo is. Mm -hmm. yeah, an echo. Echo is the word. The cute little word, echo. You see, sometimes in these big mountains here, you, you can shout things and hear the same thing <sighs> repeated back at you a few seconds later. Believe me, trust me, I will show you. <clears throat> I will shout my name. Grover! Grover! How about that? Hmm? Did you hear the echo? I did. And finally, KLE post. Hi. Hi, Shady. Hello. Do not look away. My God, yes. You witness a king's revival. Do not <laughs> that look that away. was good. Thank you. And finally, white. That's well. That's real good. The chaos is the constant. Good. Good. Why me? Sorry, Sylvester. Tweety has spoken. <clears throat> Why me? What did I ever do to you? Oh, the poor putty pad. He fly up in the air and go, boom! Is that all you need? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. I like that you drew on their faces. That's good. Everybody's king. You come at the king. You better not miss. Next week's episode, the new challengers. Week after episode, Secrets of Eternity. Oh, hell yeah. What a great episode. Sometimes you, you just get bangers. Sometimes you just get bangers.